Give praise, for he has no equal. This ruthless astral utilizes powerful skills with long cooldowns. However, his blade level will increase every time he uses a skill, shrinking those cooldowns. Raise his blade level early in the round to inflict some world-ending punishment later on. Perfection. Iblis. Iblis launches a multi-hit projectile. This skill has high priority and can devour opposing projectiles. Medium doesn't travel far, but leaves Lucilius with advantage on block. Use it to apply pressure up close. Heavy neither travels far nor comes out fast, but lingers on screen, leaving Lucilius at advantage when blocked. Ideal for Okizeme pressure. Ultimate Iblis travels far, while also providing a ton of advantage on both hit and block. Use it to pave in advance or to dominate the projectile war. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is a quick downward slash. It reaches far and comes out fast. Check your foe from mid-screen. Medium is an upward strike. At close range, it pops the foe into the air, making it a perfect combo extender. Heavy is a two-swing strike. It comes out slow, but can lead to devastating damage on a counter hit. Ultimate Phosphorus is invincible on activation, providing an invaluable reversal. Iscariot. Iscariot is a quick dash that can send foes flying on hit. Land it in the corner for a devilish wall bounce. Medium changes into a lunge which pulverizes your foe into the ground on hit. It's not easily punished when blocked, and can also be used to safely set up Okizeme. Heavy has a slower startup, but travels far. Use it from mid-range to ambush foes from a distance. And finally, the ultimate version of Iscariot travels from corner to corner. And even when blocked, it can't be punished. Become a nightmare from any range. Tessera. Tessera is a quick warp skill. Use its invincibility to weave through opposing attacks. That being said, Lucilius is briefly unable to act afterward, so use it only after you've secured an opening. Medium warps in front of the opponent with a small burst. Unpunishable on block, it can be followed up in the corner on a counter hit. Use it to dodge projectiles and unleash devastation. Heavy warps above the opponent for a surprise attack. Startup is slow, but Lucilius maintains frame advantage when blocked. Time the warp to land a counter attack or bait an invincible attack from your opponent. Ultimate Tessera can lead to follow-ups on hit. Weave through projectiles, or just be a menace. The choice is yours. Orbital Resonance. Lucilius assumes a stance with his three blades in tow. During the stance, his blade level will increase. However, mobility is restricted, so press unique action to cancel the stance. While active, use light, medium, or heavy to strike with their respective blades, cancelling the stance. Light fires a projectile blade. Use its speed to quickly nullify opposing projectiles and control space from afar. Medium is also a projectile, but slashes twice. Landing a hit could lead to more damage, which equates to superb pressure from mid-screen. Heavy drops the sword directly in front of Lucilius. It has the shortest reach, but a generous upward hitbox, making it a compelling anti-air. While each of these attacks increase your blade level, do be careful, as blades will temporarily disappear after use. 
Light and medium fire the red swords needed to activate Iblis, while heavy fires the gold sword needed to activate Phosphorus. Axion. Invincible on startup, Axion fires three beams in front of Lucilius. What excellent punctuation to end a combo. Axion Control. While this variant of Axion is active, each button will fire a beam at a specific trajectory. Take note of your opponent's position and put them on blast from afar. Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is Lucilius's most formidable tool. Invincible on startup, he creates a small burst before wreaking destruction. A powerful reversal or combo ender. Lucilius commands overwhelming skills with long initial cooldowns, meaning he needs time to access his full potential. Use Iblis to thwart your foe's movement, and once there's an opening, increase your blade level with orbital resonance. Once your blade level is maxed, dominate the round by firing off apocalyptic skill after apocalyptic skill. Now, go exercise your free will to destroy your opponents.